Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the latest version of Gminer, which is version 2.70 on a Windows 10 PC. There are many different coins that you can mine with Gminer, and if we take a look at Minerstat, here are some coins that are available to be mined. To begin the setup for Gminer, you're going to want to download the latest release, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's get started. So we're going to begin at the desktop and I'm going to open up my browser and we're at Google right now and I'm just going to search for G minor and hit enter. And the first website that we're going to get is the official one, which is going to be hosted at GitHub. So I'll just click on that. And here is the URL. I'm going to be putting this in the description below. Now the latest release, like I'd mentioned at the beginning is version 2.70. So we'll click on that. And if we scroll down a bit here, we can see that we have a version for Linux and a version for Windows. So we're gonna be downloading the Windows 64-bit version here. So I'm gonna right click on it and then say save link as. And I wanna make sure I save it in my mining folder. This folder has been added to the Windows exclusion list, so I shouldn't have any issues once the files have been extracted in here. If you haven't already created a folder for an exclusion list, I'll show you how to do that in this video if you're looking for the steps. So let's continue, I'm gonna save it. Okay, so there's no warning, but sometimes you might get a warning from the browser letting you know that it might be a dangerous or harmful file. Uh, what I can do now, I'm going to minimize the browser. I'm going to go into my mining folder. And here is the Gminer download. I'm going to right click on it and then select Extract All. Then click on Extract. And everything has been extracted within the same folder. We have everything extracted here. And the most important thing is to make sure you have the miner.exe file, which is the executable file. This is the most important one. The rest of these files are batch files for different algorithms. So in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mine Ethereum, and this is gonna be the batch file for it. It's mine.eth.bat. Now, if you don't see the extension .bat, your operating system is probably just hiding extensions even though it's the same file. So in order for us to do this and edit it, we wanna right click on it and we're gonna select edit. And this is a very basic file that we're gonna be editing. And we have a few things here that we wanna make sure that we change. We have the minor executable file that we're gonna be using. And the algorithm is gonna be ethash, which is listed. And what we're gonna be changing is gonna be the server address and port. And we're also gonna be changing the wallet address, which is this user right over here. So what we'll do is we'll open up our browser and we'll get that information right now. In this example, we're gonna be using ethermine, which is one of the biggest pools right now that's being used to mine Ethereum. And Ethermine is the official URL, so I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna take us to the main page. Uh, what we wanna do is just click on the Start Mining icon right over here, and if we scroll down a bit here, we have all the information that we're gonna need. So we have the server addresses. Now you're gonna select the server that's closest to you. I'm located in the nor North America, and the closest one for me is gonna be the US East server. So I'm gonna be selecting this, right-clicking on it and copying it, and the default port is gonna be 4444, and that's what I'm gonna be pasting in in the batch file. So right over here under server, I'm just gonna highlight this, and I'm gonna delete it. I'm leaving the colons there. So I'll delete that, and I'm gonna paste in the new server. And then we're gonna change the port number. And over here, you can see that the port number is 4444. So I'll be editing that in here. So 4444. Next, what we wanna do is change the user. Now this user is a wallet address that's here by default. You don't wanna keep this in here because anything that you mine will go to this address. So, so what you wanna do is put your own Ethereum address in here. Now, if you don't have an Ethereum address, you can install any wallet. I use Exodus. I have a tutorial on how to install Exodus right here if you're looking for one. Uh, once you get your wallet, you can copy and paste your wallet address. So I'm gonna do that right now here. And then uh, that's it. So we've edited the file and now we have, all we have to do is click on the file menu and save. So we've saved our changes and now we can close the batch file. And I'll just minimize this. And now all we have to do to get this running is just double click on the batch file and it's gonna start running. So there you go, we're mining Ethereum using Gminer on a Windows 10 PC. This is version 2.70, which was released on October 1st. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you thought this video was useful, please give me a like. Also subscribe if you're looking for other tutorials. I have many more coming out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.